This is the first of two videos dealing with this topic. Detecting a lesion is not the same as diagnosing a lesion. Diagnosing a lesion involves two things. Detecting the lesion, noticing that there is a lesion, and activity assessment, determining whether the lesion is active or inactive. Let's begin with detection, which is recognizing a lesion. This involves observations. How large is the lesion? How deep is the lesion? And is the lesion cavitated or not? On the other hand, activity assessment involves determining whether a lesion is active or arrested. So now let's look at the definitions you have already read from a published glossary on karyology terms. The icon at the lower right is there to remind you that you have already read this. Hopefully this video will help you if you did not completely understand this when you read it. With an active lesion, over a specified period of time, there is a net mineral loss. That is, the lesion is progressing. Clinical observations include visual appearance, tactile feeling, and plaque accumulation. Since it is active, we should treat it, either conservatively or operatively. On the other hand, an arrested or inactive caries lesion is a lesion that is not undergoing net mineral loss. That is, the caries process in that lesion is no longer progressing. It is a scar of past disease activity. So at one time it was an active lesion, but it is no longer active. As a result, it probably does not need to be treated, unless it presents an aesthetic issue. If that didn't help, let's look at some real-life lesions. Let's compare these two lesions from our karyology textbook. The icon at the top right is there because you will be looking at that photo in your reading assignment this week. Now, on the left, we have three lesions that are arrested. If you were to gently probe them with a probe or an explorer, you would find that the lesions are hard and smooth. They look shiny and they are dark. Now on the right we have a lesion that is active. If you were to gently probe with a probe or an explorer you would find that the surface is rough. It looks dull and chalky white and the authors say that they had to remove plaque just to look at the lesion. As a rule if a lesion is retaining plaque it is more likely to be active. Notice also that the gingiva is bleeding after the plaque was removed. Here is another comparison. The lesion on the left is active. Again, if you felt it with an explorer or a probe, it would feel rough. The surface looks dull. The color is opaque white or chalky white or even neon white. It looks like it's glowing. On the right, we have a very different lesion. It would be hard and smooth if you use a probe or an explorer. It is shiny and it's still white but it's not as opaque. It's translucent and it almost blends into the tooth. So this lesion on the right is arrested. Here is something else I want you to see. The lesion on the left is right along the gingiva where plaque accumulates. On the right there's quite a distance between the gingival margin and the lesion. Most likely that gingiva used to be way up near the lesion and plaque used to accumulate there. It may be years now since that lesion has been active because it's so far away from the gingiva. So this is a scar of an old lesion that is now inactive. Here are two very different lesions. On the left this active lesion would be rough. It's dull and the color is opaque white slash chalky white slash neon white and it's right up against the gingival tissue. On the right this arrested lesion would be hard. It's shiny. Its color is translucent white and dark brown. Also the lesion is far away from the soft tissue. The one exception on the right is that the surface is not smooth. 
Those brown spots are actually tiny cavitations. Those don't fill in when the lesion stops progressing. You can't get that enamel back. So if you were to feel the lesion, it would feel hard, but not smooth. Those scars would make the surface feel rough. Okay, now I will give you a break. When you're ready, the next video will continue with more cases and a summary.